Hello. Welcome to an overview of some of the traceability features in Covert. Today, we'll look at using the relation matrix, traceability views, and relation diagram to work with the relationships between various ALM artifacts. Covert establishes traceability between development artifacts using relation fields. This allows us to define relationships from any particular entity to any other entities, or even back onto the same entity. This enables us to have traceability across the tool chain even when the tools themselves have no facilities to handle relations. The relation matrix is available for any standard type of entity. It is accessible through the toolbar in that entity's list view. Through the relation matrix, we can view or edit relations, either between entities or within a self-relation, as is common with requirements, for example. On entering the matrix view, we can select any relation field that entity has. The columns represent one side of our chosen relation, the rows the other. The item IDs are direct links to the artifacts they represent. We can view and edit them directly from here. Icons represent the relations in a visual way. The arrows in the grid represent relations between artifacts. The arrows show the direction of impact for the relationships. Impacts allow us to ensure that when an item is changed, that the downstream artifacts get updated appropriately. For instance, if we create a new version of a requirement, the test cases to verify the requirement may need to be updated. We'll now switch from requirement to requirement traceability to requirement to test cases traceability. I'll edit this requirement to create an impact. You'll notice a lightning bolt symbol now that indicates that this requirement is currently impacting its test case. I'll view the test case now to make sure that it still tests the requirement adequately. And now I'll go ahead and clear my impact. I'll leave a comment on how it was resolved. We can not only clear impact, but we can also create and remove relations simply by mouse click. Often, we will be working with a large number of artifacts. We can use filters to limit the data in our relation matrix. Separate filters for the row and column are available. Additionally, we have the option of showing only items that have relations, highlighting orphaned items, and displaying only the orphaned items. We can easily export the matrix for use in Excel using the export options here. We can export single pages of 10 rows and 10 columns or the entire matrix. Another way of looking at traceability is by using traceability views. These views allow us to drill through multiple levels of relation hierarchy. Here we have a complete traceability view that runs from customer requirements through to their derived requirements out to the test cases, the individual test runs, and finally to the defects created by those test runs. These views are com 
completely configurable, and with the proper access rights, users may create and use their own views as needed. A third way of seeing the relations between various types of artifacts is with the relation diagram. The relation diagram is a system-created form section that can be included in any of an entity's forms. This relation diagram gives us a visual and intuitive way to explore relations across all levels. We can expand nodes manually to see their relations. There is also the option of expanding all of the nodes at once to gain a more complete picture. We can view di items directly from the relation diagram. You'll also notice impacted links are highlighted in red. With three different ways of viewing and handling relationships, Covair not only provides you a good traceability, but a correct, informative, and easily manageable traceability. Thanks for watching. This concludes our brief introduction to traceability features in Covair. To learn more about Covair solutions, please visit us at covair.com.